Decision management is more than a technology stack. It's an approach. It's a way of approaching business problems, of saying, how do I want to improve my business? What decisions do I have to take control of and manage in order to achieve that? And then how do I apply the right sets of analytic and other technologies to really make the best possible decision to drive results directly into my business operations so that I can improve them systematically? I came up with sort of you know, four things really that really matter in decision management. The first is you've got to focus on decisions. You've got to know what your decisions are. You've got to understand how you want to make them. You've got to be clear about decisions. Uh, secondly, you've got to really focus on agility. You've got to build transparent, agile systems, uh, typically using business rules, so that you can change them in response to all the things that cause decision making to change. You've got to have analytics, particularly predictive analytics, so that you can Take all the data you've collected and all the data you can collect and use it to systematically make better, more precise, more profitable decisions. And then lastly, you've got to build systems that are adaptive. They've got to learn, they've got to support a sort of test and learn experimentation mindset, and they've got to learn for themselves. They've got to observe what works and adapt themselves. So that means you can looking at more analytic technology, but also optimization and some of the related technologies in that area too. So rules, analytics, optimization used to deliver these systems. So big data is a really interesting sort of phenomenon when it comes to decision management systems. If you look at most of the early use cases for big data, they're all about reporting and querying. But now what you're beginning to see is people saying, gosh, I've got all this data. How do I use it in my systems? There's all these new kinds of data. And so we're having to find new ways to do analytics against it. But the good news is that's making our analytics more predictive. It makes them more powerful. So we're getting this boost in perform analytic performance out of these new data sources. To get value out of big data, I would say you know, companies need to begin with the decision in mind. It's very easy to spend money on infrastructure. Oh, I've got to build a layer to do this, and I've got to store this, and build these new places to put data. But if you don't tie it to some business decision, and therefore to some business outcome, you're not going to be able to justify it. And so I think that the right investments is to begin by looking at the decisions, particularly decisions about customers that are particularly important to you, the ones where you have the most trouble doing a good job, or the ones where making a difference has the most immediate impact on your bottom line, and then saying, okay, are there new data sources that I could use here that would improve my ability to predict things? Are there new ways I could bring data to bear on the problem? What if I responded more quickly? What if I was using the data as it arrived rather than after I had stored it? Would that change the way my customers perceived me, the way I interacted with them? And ask those kind of questions, because then you can say, well, I'm, I need to invest in big data because it'll help me make this decision quicker, more accurately, uh, in, a, in a more robust way, and that has business value. One of the great things about decision management and about decision management systems is that you don't have to rip out all your old systems. You're using decision management to build decision-making components that make your existing systems smarter. They make them work better. You make better decisions and you inject them into your processes, into your channels, into your website, whatever. But you still have this integration problem if you're a typical big enterprise. You've got lots of legacy systems. They're on different platforms. You've got partners. They've got their own platforms. And what the cloud does is it really removes that last layer of barriers. I can pull data from my extended enterprise, from my consumers, into the cloud. I can use it in the cloud, process it in the cloud, and then use the cloud to make that decision-making pervasive again throughout my whole business.